Okay, good morning, Social Work 300, and welcome to another five minute video lecture on one of your assignments, exercises, or labs. And in this five minute video lecture, I'm going to talk about and go through briefly for you on how to create an APA style table. Essentially, what you're going to do is take the SPSS printout that you were given for a previous assignment and then you're going to use something like Google Docs or you can use Microsoft Word, whatever works for you. And you're going to create a bivariate table and a multivariate table. If you have no idea what that is, I strongly suggest you go back and you watch part one and part two of the elementary data analysis video. You can use the links that are here or I believe I did put the links in our Facebook announcement page um, and they play much easier, much better. So I'm told by other students when you look at them in Facebook. So that's great because also this video lecture, these video lectures tend to go from semester to semester. So these links actually that are here um, in case they're not working, use the, um, the uh, Facebook announcement page uh, videos. They're all there. And of course, uh, you're going to submit your assignment, your completed document into Blackboard as a PDF. Now, once again, you're going to take the SPS printout that you were given in, I believe it might have been exercise two, and you're going to turn it into a document. You're going to take raw data from an SPSS printout, and you're going to create a table that you can use within your research paper, survey, or document. In this case, you're just going to be producing the APA style table. Um, if you look in your book, um, it gives you a little close up of one, but I've actually in the textbook put a completed copy of what your paper should look like. Uh, let me go to that real quick. Um, you're going to have a cover page and I want everybody to have a great cover page. So that's why I give you an example. So you know what it looks like. So it won't be that hard for you. And this is what your bivariate table will look like. Just ignore the fact that this says created for exercise 1D because obviously for you this is exercise 4. Okay. And you're just going to put a uh, bivariate tab table. Actually, you can leave off example of bivariate table. Just put table 1 and then whatever the title is of your data, uh, your, your tables. This is what a bivariate table looks like. Um, and this is what a multivariate table looks like. But the bivariate table is just looking at the respondents' age group and their attitudes about changing the drinking age. See what it says in the title? Uh, the multivariate looks at the same thing, but now it's comparing male and female respondents, males and females who took this survey and gave their opinion about um, their attitude about changing the drinking age. Um, now, where do we get this information from? Why, of course, your SPS data table that you were given. So for attitudes about changing the drinking age by group of respondent, and once again, I'm looking at the multivariate table right now. For those male respondents under the age of 30, 76.9% uh, agree. So where do you get that from? Go to your SPS data table that you were given. Oops, I skipped over it. Sorry about that. And this is controlling for age, excuse me, controlling for uh, sex, for gender of the respondent, males. And you'll see under 30, age, attitude, agree about drinking, changing the drinking age, 76.9%. So that's the number you take and you insert it into your data table, your APA style table. It's that simple. Okay, let me review again. Make sure you read your book. Make sure you watch the video. You need a cover page. Okay, you got your cover page. You've got your next page, which will be your bivariate table. Your next page is your multivariate table. It's that simple. If you don't know what each of these items stands for in your table, then there is a page in your textbook that says anatomy of the APA style table. And it tells you what each and every item um, means, what it's contained, what it's about, why you use it. Make sure your tables look great. Okay? Good luck. If you have questions, 